I'm a 24-year-old male, and this happened to me a few years ago when I was around 21. I remember because it was shortly after my birthday in December. It was really cold outside and there was snow on the ground as we had just had a snowstorm pass through our area. I lived with my parents at the time and my mom is not really a fan of driving in the snow so she asked me if I could drive her to the gas station for her to pick up some cigarettes for her and my dad, as well as a few other items they might have needed. I said sure as I wasn't really doing anything at the time and I grabbed my keys then following her to the car. I remember the cold air hitting your face pretty hard that night so it had to be at least around the teens, which made the snow and whatever else was on the roads really slippery. This is important to know for later on in the story. The nearest gas station was about 5 minutes away from us, but given the conditions of the roads, it took us about 10 to get there. Once I was able to park the car, my mom got out of the car, then made her way inside the store. From where I was parked, I could see her inside the store, standing in the line that was leading up to the register. I kept the car running as it was really cold and I just didn't want to be sitting in the car without any heat. I was browsing on my phone while waiting for my mom to get done and right around that time I had seen her finally approach the register. There was a black truck that pulled up into the parking spot right next to my car. I found this a bit unusual given that the parking lot was empty so I mean there was really no reason for them to park right next to the spot where I was. But I kind of just chalked it up to them wanting to be as close to the entrance as they could, given how cold it was that night. No one got out of the car at first, but I didn't even notice this until I looked up to see my mom walking out of the entrance back to the car. I glanced over to the truck's passenger side window, and I could just make out a figure sitting in the passenger seat, and they were facing in my direction. My mom opened the door, then got inside, before then asking me what I was looking at. I told her about the truck pulling up well over a few minutes ago around the same time that she approached the register, but that nobody had gotten out. She first chalked it up to maybe they were just waiting for someone inside the store to come out, but when I mentioned seeing a figure in the passenger side of the car looking towards our direction, she then began to sense why I was so spooked out by it. She told me to just back out and get out of there and that we didn't need to worry about them once we drove off. As soon as I put the car into reverse and then began to back up, the passenger door swung open and hit the side of my car. A tall, very built man stepped out from the car as soon as the door made contact with my car. I hit the brakes as soon as I felt the contact and the man stood there before throwing his hands up at me and then staring in my direction. I didn't really know what to do as I'd never really been in any sort of accident before and my mom was sitting right there next to me and could see as well as I had that the door had not been opened until we had already started moving. The man slowly walked up to my window and just stood there. I cracked it very slowly and I told the man that I was sorry but that I didn't see the door open as I was backing out. For a brief moment he didn't really say anything, that is before he simply asked, Roll down your window a little bit more, I can barely hear you. I knew this couldn't be true as it was really quiet in that area and I wasn't even speaking in a low tone. I told him that I'd prefer to keep it cracked as I really didn't want to let cold air get into the car. This really angered the man and he immediately spoke in a more angered tone now. He was telling me to roll down my window yet again. I again told him no and this is when things then took a turn for the absolute worse. Without any warning whatsoever. The man smacked my window really hard with his hand. Startled, I immediately jumped back and rolled the window up. My mom was right beside me just absolutely yelling for me to just back out and leave, but I was really afraid of hitting the man in the process as he was still right next to my car. The man kept smacking my window really hard a few more times before he then tried punching it. It was right at this point where I realized that if I didn't get my mom and I out of there fast, this guy was definitely going to hurt us. I could see the cashier inside the gas station heard what was going on and he looked to be on the phone with what I could only assume was the police. But there was absolutely no way I could wait for them as the man was now both punching at my window and now kicking my door. It was like some switch had been flipped on in this man's head and he had just totally lost it. I told my mom to hold on as I put the car into reverse again and backed out of there as fast as I could, just barely missing the guy by a few inches. 
I pulled fully out of the parking spot before the man ran out in front of our car and slammed his hands right on the hood. I sat there frozen, not knowing what to do, as the man looked right back at me. I turned the car wheel and sped around him, trying to avoid him the best that I could before booking it the hell out of there. After that, I honestly thought that was the end of it. But as we made our way down the road to a stoplight, I was able to see headlights that was fast approaching from behind our car. And once it was close enough behind us, I could then see that it was the same truck the man was in. There appeared to be two people inside of it. I assumed the man I encountered must have been the passenger, and I guess the driver was someone I hadn't noticed before. I told my mom that it was them behind us and she started to freak out and call my dad, then letting him know what was going on. We were still probably about 10 minutes away from our house given the road conditions, but I knew that there was no way that I could get us back to our house in that amount of time before these guys tried to ram us off the road or whatever else they had planned for us. My dad told my mom for us to attempt to head back towards our house and that he would try and meet us halfway in his truck. She told me this and I agreed that this had to be our best option given that I couldn't turn around and head back to the gas station still not knowing if the police had even been called or not. So once the light turned green, I punched on the gas and sped off. I'm going to be completely honest. I really wasn't being that cautious of the road at this point as there really weren't any other cars at this point of the night. There were a few times where the car slid from the ice on the road, and I knew that it would only take one turn of the wheel to lose control, but I wasn't going to slow down and let these guys catch up to us. After about a few minutes of driving, we were able to see headlights right in front of us on the other side of the road. I was thinking that it had to be my father, and as we got a little closer, we were able to make out his truck beyond the lights. Very surprisingly, the truck was still behind us, still keeping pace with me given the road conditions. I could see my father cut across a midsection of the roads and then stop shortly off the side of the road. I started to slow down right as we approached and then pulled off to the side of the road, the truck still following me. As I came to a stop, the same man from before that was in the passenger seat hopped out of the car then started making his way to our car. The driver opened his door but before he could step out, both of the men stopped dead in their tracks at the sound of my father's voice. I suggest the both of you hop back in that car and drive right on out of here before I put a bullet in the both of you. I could see my dad walking out into the light radiating from both his and my headlights. He had his 9mm pistol pulled and named right at the man's head as he stood right next to my car. I pretty much just watched as both of the men just stood there for a brief moment as my dad slowly inched his way towards them. The man then very slowly backed away towards his truck before then speaking to what I assumed was my father. You're really lucky you got here when you did. The man laughed and jumped back into his truck before it quickly backed out and drove off in the other direction. My dad walked to my window and he asked me and my mom if we were okay. I remember telling him that other than being scared shitless, I think we were fine. Shortly afterwards, my dad followed us back home just to make sure no one else followed us. I really have no idea what those men's intentions were or why the man acted the way he did. All I know is that if I hadn't reacted how I did to get my mom and I out of there, I just really hate to think what those men would have done to us.